Our aim is to provide psychology and mental health knowledge in an accessible way. And you're the reason why we're still making videos today. So thanks. Now, let's get started. Have you heard of the term ghosting? If so, are you familiar with what it is? Ghosting is when someone suddenly ceases all contact with another, often ignoring their attempts to reach out without any explanation. Getting ghosted can be a difficult and hurtful experience and can leave you with a lot of unanswered questions. So, what motivates people to ghost someone? Here are six reasons why someone might ghost. One, they don't feel safe. One reason why someone might ghost is that they no longer feel safe in the situation they're in. This could be because of verbal harassment, bullying, or crossing a personal boundary where the person feels uncomfortable or in danger. In situations where talking reasonably doesn't seem to be the best option, they may opt to stop all contact instead. Two, they want revenge. Another reason why someone might ghost you may be because they want revenge. Sometimes it may be because of an ex or cheating, which can prompt bitter feelings to emerge. Other times it could be because of a similar issue that might be for petty revenge. This behavior is toxic and would most likely occur when they're not emotionally mature enough to handle a relationship. Three, fear of intimacy. Those who are afraid of intimacy might ghost you in an act of self-preservation. When you have a fear of intimacy, it can be hard to allow yourself to get too close to someone else. It could be because of a fear of commitment or abandonment, which causes stress and anxiety in situations they're not comfortable in. Everyone's method of dealing with fear is different. Some people may be fine with some forms of intimacy while being more aversive to others. Four, it's the easiest course of action. Ending a budding relationship can be hard, especially if you're the one who has to break things off. Conversation can end up being more awkward than expected. And sometimes dates and casual relationships just don't seem to work out. People have said that sometimes if the relationship is casual enough, it would feel more polite to end it without having an official breakup, to save face. Five, they're going through something in their personal life. Whether it's moving to another city, losing a loved one, or starting college or a new job, it can be difficult to balance all of our personal affairs with a new relationship. In order to maintain our relationships, we need to dedicate a lot of time and effort into them. But when we're trying to juggle friendships, family, social life, school, or work, and personal well-being all at once, it might be too overwhelming to handle. This might make someone unable to handle a relationship at the moment. But even though this may be the reason, it doesn't justify ghosting you. Six, they're afraid of confrontation. Last but not least, some people may ghost you because they dislike confrontation. This may be due to a fear of drama or backlash. So they try to end it in the most peaceful way possible. Sometimes they have a fear of being honest about their feelings and ghost instead, even though it could hurt the other person's feelings. Ghosting can happen for a variety of reasons, and sometimes it might not be because of the ghosty. People can have many personal things going on in their lives that influence their decisions, and many of these reasons can stem from instances of fear or actions of habit. If you felt hurt from being ghosted before, it's okay to feel the pain that you're feeling. It's more common than ever in the fast-paced, social media-driven world that we live in. But remember, you're also strong enough to move past it. Did we clarify any feelings you had of what ghosting is? Have you been on the sending or receiving side? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more content like this. As always, thanks for watching our videos and we'll see you soon.